Hello, subject and details will piss in this video. Why small habits make a big difference? Could you be 1% better than yesterday? Why do so many people experience that the first explosion of inspiration and motivation did not achieve their goals? There are four main reasons for this. 1. They set ambitious goals, but they have no plans on how to do this daily. 2. They look for shortcuts instead of simple steps. 3. They stop doing simple things that approach their goals. 4. They expect great results very quickly and are discouraged. So what can we do about this? Let's clarify all these issues. Why small habits make a big difference? Can you be 1% better today than yesterday? Most of us have areas of our lives that we would like to change for the better. That could entail making more money, exercising more, having more free time, experiencing less stress, losing weight, starting that business we have always dreamed about, making more friends, or eating healthier. No matter what we want to achieve, there is a simple rule that works effectively, being 1% better today than we were yesterday. Having lofty goals is wonderful. We should aim high because we are capable of so much more in our lives than we think. Whether our goal is to successfully run a marathon, create a multi-million dollar business, lose 50 pounds, or travel the world, we can indeed achieve it if we remember one simple rule. We need to take steps in that direction each day, even baby steps, and be at least 1% better than we were yesterday. Have you ever been inspired to chase a dream, only to have that feeling of inspiration dissipate over the next few days? Well, you are not alone. So many people experience moments of inspiration and motivation and plan to make big changes in their lives. Only to discover that the pumped up emotions they experience slowly wither away over the next few days or weeks. They revert back to their old ways and get stuck in a state of inertia. All of us have experienced this at some point in our lives. It is so easy to overestimate the importance of one defining moment and underestimate the value of making small improvements on a daily basis. Too often, we convince ourselves that massive success requires massive action. Whether it is losing weight, building a business, writing a book, winning a championship, or achieving any other goal. We put pressure on ourselves to make some earth-shattering improvement that everyone will talk about. Meanwhile, improving by 1% isn't particularly notable, sometimes it isn't even noticeable, but it can be far more meaningful, especially in the long run. The difference a tiny improvement can make over time is astounding. Here's how the math works out, if you can get 1% better each day for one year, you'll end up 37 times better by the time you're done. Conversely, if you get 1% worse each day for one year, you'll decline nearly down to zero. What starts as a small win or a minor setback accumulates into something much more. Habits are the compound interest of self-improvement. The same way that money multiplies through compound interest, the effects of your habits multiply as you repeat them. They seem to make little difference on any given day and yet the impact they deliver over the months and years can be enormous. It is only when looking back two, five, or perhaps ten years later that the value of good habits and the cost of bad ones become strikingly apparent. This can be a difficult concept to appreciate in daily life. We often dismiss small changes because they don't seem to matter very much in the moment. If you save a little money now, you're still not a millionaire. If you go to the gym three days in a row, you're still out of shape. 
If you study Mandarin for an hour tonight, you still haven't learned the language. We make a few changes, but the results never seem to come quickly and so we slide back into our previous routines. Unfortunately, the slow pace of transformation also makes it easy to let a bad habit slide. If you eat an unhealthy meal today, the scale doesn't move much. If you work late tonight and ignore your family, they all forgive you. If you procrastinate and put your project off until tomorrow, there will usually be time to finish it later. A single decision is easy to dismiss. But when we repeat 1% errors, day after day, by replicating poor decisions, duplicating tiny mistakes, and rationalizing little excuses, our small choices compound into toxic results. It's the accumulation of many missteps, a 1% decline here and there, that eventually leads to a problem. The impact created by a change in your habits is similar to the effect of shifting the route of an airplane by just a few degrees. Imagine you are flying from Los Angeles to New York City. If a pilot leaving from Lax adjusts the heading just 3.5 degrees south, you will land in Washington, D.C., instead of New York. Such a small change is barely noticeable at takeoff. The nose of the airplane moves just a few feet, but when magnified across the entire United States, you end up hundreds of miles apart. Similarly, a slight change in your daily habits can guide your life to a very different destination. Making a choice that is 1% better or 1% worse seems insignificant in the moment. But over the span of moments that make up a lifetime these choices determine the difference between who you are and who you could be. Success is the product of daily habits, not on sign of time transformations. That said, it doesn't matter how successful or unsuccessful you are right now. What matters is whether your habits are putting you on the path towards success. You should be far more concerned with your current trajectory than with your current results. If you're a millionaire but you spend more than you earn each month, then you're on a bad trajectory. If your spending habits don't change, it's not going to end well. Conversely, if you're broke, but you save a little bit every month, then you're on the path toward financial freedom, even if you're moving slower than you'd like. Why do so many people experience that initial burst of inspiration and motivation yet fail to achieve their goals? There are four reasons for this. 1. They set ambitious goals, but lack a daily plan detailing how to go about it. Once the initial euphoric feeling of inspiration wears off, they look at the mountain they want to climb and get overwhelmed. Without a daily plan, they freeze with fear when they think about the lofty goal they want to achieve. Instead of taking small steps and moving forward, they overanalyze their goals, paralysis by analysis, and get scared. Suddenly, that 26.2 mile marathon seems too far, the 50 pound weight loss too daunting, or running that successful business too difficult. 2. They look for shortcuts instead of taking the simple necessary steps. Human beings often want to cheat and take the easiest path by cutting corners and hoping for the best instead of performing the simple tasks necessary each day. Instead of exercising for 20 minutes each morning in order to lose weight, they seek a magic pill or special piece of gym equipment. Rather than sit down and write a few pages of that book they want to publish, they try to copy the work of other writers. They spend precious time looking for shortcuts which do not exist rather than getting down to doing the simple things that work. They buy all the latest self-improvement books rather than implementing what they already know. 3. They stop doing the simple things that were bringing them closer to their goals. 
Instead of continuing their morning exercise routine which helped them lose 3 pounds, they get complacent and stop exercising. Or they experience a little success in their business and then stop doing the very things that got them to that point. Or they feel better after stopping drinking alcohol and, instead of perpetuating it, they go out and celebrate with a bottle of champagne. In other words, they get complacent and forget to perform the small tasks that brought them initial improvement. They stop swimming or treading water and that causes them to sink. 4. They expect big results too quickly and get discouraged. Rather than taking small steps and making incremental improvements over time, too many people expect unrealistic results too prematurely. They forget that almost all success is the result of performing simple tasks over an extended period of time. It is tantamount to buying that magical lottery ticket and then getting disappointed when they do not win. That is not how life and success work. They fail to see that a steady drop of water can erode even the hardest rock. So what is the answer to achieving success in anything? Small steps that lead to constant improvement. Forget trying to lose those 50 pounds in a month. Instead, take baby steps and strive to be 1% better than yesterday. Start by exercising for one minute today, then slowly increasing the exercise duration each day, say by 15 seconds. Write 100 words of that book today and increase that by 1% the next day. Meditate for 5 minutes 300 seconds today and add a mere 3 seconds tomorrow. Slow and steady is the way to go when it comes to achieving your goals. There are no secret shortcuts or magical pills. The magic lies in making small, incremental improvements over time. All you need to do is to be 1% better than yesterday. That's it. A small, measly 1%. All of us can do that. You may not see tangible results in the short run, but I guarantee you that you will see significant progress and results if you follow the 1% rule. One key point to remember is that, Similar to placing your savings into a compounding interest bank account, the small successes will compound and lead to ever-increasing success levels. You will continuously build upon your previous success and the positive results will become exponentially more significant. The mistake that most people make is giving up early in the game when they do not detect tangible results. Success is not a destination. It is an ongoing process. Successful people know that improving by a mere 1% each day leads to a 365% improvement over a year, and that is without any compounding. Just think about where you will be and the level of success you will attain if you simply improve by 1% each day. That is where the magic happens. So, ask yourself this. How can you improve by 1% today?